fix these unsightly oil stains in the driveway here using the rubber stamp tool in Fireworks CS4. So let's grab the rubber stamp tool and if you click down on this tool you'll see three options if you click and hold. Grab the rubber stamp and now there's two options down here one is source aligned and the other is use entire document I'm just going to select the use entire document for this little example I'm going to show you another example using source aligned in a second so now I have my opacity for the rubber stamp to be about 90 in somewhere in 90 right in that range you can put it 100 percent whatever you need you can adjust these settings the feathered edge I want it all the way up and the size I want all the way up because my picture is very large okay so the resolution is very big I'm only at 25 percent here okay so I'm going to click down in the region that I want to put into my rubber stamp you see my little target reticule here just go on a nice clear area that you want to copy through there click down and what it did is going to take that circle that area in that circle and use in the rubber stamp so when I move this circle away anywhere I click down now it's going to use the stamp to place that imagery or those pixels on that region where you click so let's click down and I'll show you what I mean let's get these dark spots here see I click down and they begin to disappear and it's just like displacing pixels from one spot that looks okay to another spot that doesn't look so okay and you can click and hold and drag and it's like a paintbrush almost and you can see how the reticule snaps back each time if you're using the use entire document setting so it's very photoshoppy and photoshop isn't the only program that can edit photos nicely and render them out as tiff files for printing whatever whatever you need it exports as any kind of file if you use the export wizard you can get any kind of file you need so you can see how that little area is gone so I'm gonna do the rest real quick not on video because it would you know it's just wasting your time you already know how to do it because I just showed you and now uh, let me get that the rest of this done real quick and then we'll continue and I'll show you how to use the source aligned method okay so as you can see we have easily and effectively clean the driveway and now I'm going to show you the other method using the stamp the rubber stamp tool let's highlight that grab it and you can use source aligned instead of use entire document and let's get this all the way up to a hundred edge all the way up opacity all the way up okay so what I want to do is take this line see this line sitting right here and put a third line going through here like this right in between these two white lines and I'm going to use this as my well you can use wherever you drag your mouse basically that's what it's going to use so let's click down here and now if I go right here let's say right about there and I'm going to drag along. Actually, let's zoom in a little so you can see it better. Not too much. I'm going to drag along here. Right there. And just make sure my little crosshairs, my little blue crosshairs up there, stay on that white line. And I'm golden. It's just going to copy it right on through there. Photoshop's not the only very useful program for manipulating photos. I hope you know. Everybody underestimates fireworks and never really digs around to see what it can do. Look at that. See? We have another painted line in there. Let's go ahead and finish it up. There you go if you wanted to have another one that was let's get the stamp on there again let's stamp this one right here another line that was right here say just go right there you just click down with the target and then you start to drag where you want it and that's how it works okay so utilize your rubber stamp tool 
for doctoring up images if you need to. Just Fireworks is a really easy, cool program to work in. Okie dokie, you see a nice clean driveway now with new painted lines. Magic. Alright, see you next lesson.